I'm Elena Davy. I'm a professor of neuroscience. Yeah, um, I'm Peter So, a professor in mechanical engineering and biological engineering. think about the hierarchy of the body, the brain is the boss, and so everything that we are, everything that we do, um, is from the brain. Clearly it's important to our uh, understanding of what makes us people and what makes us human. Um, the other aspect is that we know so little about the brain that um, there is a huge potential for discoveries. So if we think about normal film or, or um, imaging using a camera, pretty much you see the tissue surface. You don't really see the structure of the tissue underneath the surface because tissue is highly scattering and also have some absorption. So both of those properties um, pretty much attenuates the light as it goes deep. And the advantage of multifotron is you are using uh, infrared light that is at a much longer wavelength. Therefore, tissue absorption and scattering are much lower, and that allows you to go deep. Multifotron microscopy works by using infrared light to excite um, fluorescence molecules that are absorbing normally in the visible uh, range and because you use infrared light that allows you to image deeper. The way that we can look at individual neurons um, in the living brain is that we can inject them with a protein that fluoresces and which we can excite at specific wavelengths with the two photon. And that way, even though there are millions and millions of neurons in your brain, and if you were trying to look at all of them at once with all their connections, um, it would just be a big mess. Um, what we do is we pick one of them and we color it with the fluorescent protein. And that way we can sort of see it isolated. The introduction of multi-photon microscopy to biological imaging um, our ability to actually monitor um, structural changes in individual cells in our brain was basically non-existent. There are a lot of events that um, have to do with uh, plasticity, with our ability to learn, with our ability to um, kind of modify our connections in response to the environment. Um, happen in the relatively superficial layers of the cortex that at this point are um, accessible by um, multi-photon today. When we ask questions and as we're asking them we realize what it is that we need to develop and then Peter develops it. Specifically we want to look at how a single neuron integrates signal from all its synapses and the number of synapses is on the order of 10,000, maybe a little bit more, and we want to be able to map maybe all of this synaptic input, and then um, we have a time resolution about 10 to 100 milliseconds, and then see how all the signals are integrated and neuron make its own decision. Um, cognition and the brain is one of the most complex organ and probably some of the most important problem in the 21st century is related to how the brain works and also pathology of the brain and, and I think that it's always good to study difficult problems. <laughs>